Hey guys, welcome to Concept and Coding, and this is Shreyansh. And today we have Venkat with us. So thank you, Venkat, first of all, accepting the invitation and going to share what all the uh, experience you have to share with us. Thank you for accepting and coming to Concept and Coding, man. Hi, Shreyansh, and hi everyone. Uh, Shane, first first of all, I just need to say thank you for inviting me here. I yeah. hope uh, this particular session will enlighten some of my colleagues. Yeah, sure. Thanks. So I, I'll tell you guys a brief background how, how how I am able to bring the Venkat on this podcast. So recently, I think a week back, I got a message from Venkat that he got placed in Paytm. Correct me, uh, Venkat. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So he That's got Paytm. placed in Venkat, and he also cracked so many other companies also. So I requested him like. Would you be able to give us a roadmap for your interview preparation? How you have set up the companies and all these things. So very like how he actually able to grab or crack certain good product based companies. So I requested him and he accepted that. And here we are today. So to be honest, I am also at the same page with you guys. We don't know whose bank it is, and let's use this time. In half an hour, forty minutes. Let's uh, know who this banker is, and hope we will be in connect after this call also, right? So, yes, yes, so banker, yes. like, okay, so I'll start our conversation with the first is. Can you all give us a, a little bit brief about you, like which company you are in, how many experience you have, like what's your tech stack, and why you thought that yes, you wanted to start switching. So uh, first of all, we can start with our background. So I had graduated uh, in way back in 2019. Later, okay. I joined this company called TCS, where huh. I started my uh, career with like 3.36 lakhs package per annum. Oh. I was working there for two years, and this Corona got hit, and we were asked to do work from home and all. Oh. So at that time, one of my friend got me introduced to this DSA and all. So till then, I even don't know like there is this thing called product-based companies, and they will uh, have some hefty pays and These things I don't even know. I don't even know that there is this company called Amazon, and there are software employees work there. I don't even know that. So, I maybe mean, it may be funny, but yeah, that is true. So, oh. post that I have started my journey in this COVID, during that COVID time, where I had started preparing for DSA and uh, with the help, like I used to mainly uh, rely on open sources. Uh, like I, I had pre- I had all my preparation done using Deep Code, and I went to. Uh, youtube and get some references whenever i have some doubts and all so later after like doing this for nearly 6 to 7 months so i had placed in this particular product this company called ajio.com uh, ajio subsidiary of lens yeah ajio okay ajio ajio yeah, a okay. shopping website e-commerce shopping website yeah so there i had worked for nearly 18 months uh, post that see the coming to my motivation for switch there is no such motivation i was Contacted by a recruiter asking for some interview, so I had given the interview and I was able to crack it. Okay. Most I had cracked that. Uh, they had, they had like, they have, we have discussion regarding the offer and they had said a verbal offer is confirmed. Post that, uh, so they said we will release offers in some time. That that was a, like a, a fang level company. I don't want to mention its name here. So they said that they will leave, uh, release offer letter in some time. Uh, but post that it was happened somewhere in February. Post that uh, February pass. March pass, May pass, June pass, and that time I didn't receive any offer letter. But I was in the dream that I will receive an offer letter and I will join uh, there. Okay. So I was in constant, uh, I was in constant connection with the recruiter, and I was doing follow up with them. Uh, one day, what I came to know from them is like they had gone for hiring freeze, and oh, they are okay. not able to raise my offer at that particular instance of time. Okay. So, so, so actually, I was preparing for that, but that didn't happen. Oh. So, Yes, I was already in the track, so I had like I had already started the journey, so I don't want to end it like that. So mm-hmm. I had gone further. So, but let's first uh, like after uh, you started doing the preparation, right? What subjects you start preparing, like, uh, and how did you prepare? How much time you spend? What topic you prepared? And if the resources which you can mention. So now let's talk mostly about the your preparation, interview preparation part. Okay. Uh, when it comes to interview preparation, actually there are two things here. One is while I was shifting from service-based company to product-based company, 
and the second thing is the present ship uh, recent ship which i did from product based to some senior level in the product based yes, company makes sense so yeah. now first talk about the service based company to product based company so i can definitely say that this was the most difficult which i, I make the reason for that is so see i uh, as i was during this covid time i started doing this dsc and all but that was not an easy thing because see there i had spent nearly 7 uh, to 8 months uh, when i say 7 to 8 months how my life cycle will goes on is like see i i was already working at the, by that time so from morning 9 to evening 6 to 7 i i will be i have to do my things in my job post that uh, i'll i will have my some i will just spend and uh, maybe two hours before going to sleep maybe from 9 to 11 or 10 to 12 something like that i use every day i used to spend these two hours doing only dsc i mean that too i had more mostly rely mostly relied on lead code i don't okay. most of my time i spend on lead code only okay. so and I, after five to six months i was in a good state that i was able to solve all the easy level problems medium level problems also uh, i can solve them in 10 to 15 minutes i hope like awesome. 10 to 15 minutes is a good time at least for me so then then i started applying for interviews like the awesome. companies So, and obviously at that time uh, there is this thing called fang everyone used to apply for fang and all even i dreamed of uh, having a job at fang but unfortunately i was uh, i was applied for amazon and i was able to clear all the round except the bar raiser round so i was rejected at that time so post that uh, i had like uh, applied to a number of companies and i was able to crack some decent level product based companies and based on my particular offers at that time based on their compensation levels and all i chose to join agu how you were looking out the job for like have you faced in a resume shortlisted process have you changed something in your resume at that time because this is again a big topic to discuss from service based to product based which i know what changes you did in your because as you said in your resume uh, in your tcs you were not working too much on the development part right so like what about the project round so i think uh, there do you have any project round or they haven't asked any project round while well, the first switch and how about resume shortlisting how did you approach to the companies for the first level of switch so actually i just even thank you for asking this question so the thing is like while there is this thing called uh, now i had prepared so after it means i had prepared for ds now i was good with ds now the thing is like i need to get my resume noticed by the recruiters so this is like the most difficult thing so i was in this process of for a, uh, i mean like nearly 2 to 3 months i was in the process of just waking up every day i will just open the lead uh, sorry linkedin and there i used to go for like actually my dream company at that time was amazon so there i used to open amazon uh, amazon wala jobs and all i used to apply there every day I, at least like, like i used to apply on a minimum basis also i used to apply two to three jobs only for amazon mm-hmm. and whenever i i came across this particular product based company i used to apply them I, there are this there are sometimes where i didn't even look at what their requirement is actually i had that is a mistake i have to accept that so i i like when i see the company name and they said so they have opening i don't even go and search for the description also i will just meet i will i'm just going to apply uh, that somehow not work so post that what i did like i post that uh, so i thought like i don't know the actual reason but i thought like this may be due to my resume and obviously i was just from a type 3 college so no one knows about it even though it, i mentioned my college name so now what i did is like i will just go to the internet on or connect some guys from linkedin who is already working in those companies and i was asked i had asked them to share their resume at least their templates and all earlier i used to have this two pages resume where that didn't work out later i convert them into one page resume uh, where, where one side i used to give all my details regarding uh, the particular uh, technology text text tags and the knowledge i know this ds thing on the left side on the right side i used to give my previous experiences my project which i did and other other related things and other thing uh, the question you asked while well, in tcs i was working on a uh, like development project but that is not that much development as i can say so that was a decent not even decent it's a, it's a okay average level project okay. so i had mentioned the same in my resume and i was like whenever some recruiter is asking me i told them the same like this is, this is what i worked on and this is the thing expectation also yes yeah this is the level i had worked on and they used to ask me based on uh, that so that is regarding my previous experience and coming to my uh, this particular interview process as i mentioned i every day i used to wake up and has to apply for some companies some product based companies and okay. i had i mean like i had reached out to most of the people on linkedin for reference and all uh, okay. and some of them had given me some reference and but i don't know like after maybe nearly 3 to 400 I, for only amazon i used to have apply nearly 3 to 400 roles maybe after those 400 roles once i got a call i get like oh. only one time i received this particular invitation now let's come to so that okay you able to switch from tcs to agio now after that uh, 
so that was around 2021 then 2023 or maybe recently you started back again into the market two years lot of yeah. happened lot of demands happened also because one of the main reason for is like competition increases because of this layoffs and there is so much talented people also there in the market right for the same job now recruiters have lot of lot of choice so how did you now is the same strategy works out for you what did you change or you just keep on preparing the dsa like 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 and also how you able to bring the new companies is the same linkedin approach so that also can be discussed man yeah so coming to my switch from the ago to now this company oh, sorry after joining ago i stopped my dsa like i, I stopped coding dsa and all. i stopped i stopped lead coding for nearly 7 to 8 months Okay. So post that I I started whenever I realized that I need to switch, I had started DSA again. Uh, but I I'm not spending that much time on DSA because I know that I can have de- I have decent knowledge and I can like easily clear a medium level sum that that is completely fine for me. Yes, now my most concentration is on uh, LLD. Yeah. So, so for DSA you are just trying to maintain the consistency, but now not yes. spending much time. Okay. Yeah, not spending much time. Uh, coming to LLD, I I don't have any knowledge on LLD. Maybe I can say like very minimum knowledge. so i started preparing for this uh, design patterns and solid principles i had been a good follower your, of your lld playlist and most of your things now which you mentioned like this interview level questions and all i had like solved most of them and i had acquired some good knowledge from your videos also oh, okay. uh, that's the reason why i just uh, once i cracked this thing now i just message you stating that <laughs> hey <laughs> is friends okay. yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. okay okay as i mentioned i used to spend nearly half an hour to 45 minutes on ds every day and one hour on this low level designing okay. and uh, this is for on week 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 days so when okay. it come to saturday i i used to like take any of the lld problem uh, and i used to develop a co- write, write and code for it from end to end i will awesome. try to complete on one saturday like me uh, one, one one day i will try to complete it uh, so dheere dheere say what happened like this this goes on for nearly 2 to 3 months so post that i had like i had acquired some good knowledge on lld as well so i am not saying that I, I i am a pro in lld but i had acquired some good knowledge on lld coming to there are just some companies where they used to test our uh, system dev- designing skills also so coming to the system designing skills the high so, level design the high level of design so in my earlier company i had like uh, very good rapport with my solution architect so whenever they are designing something na which is related to our project i will just go to them and i will just uh, sit with them and ask him like why this why not this why not this and all so i had some very good learning from them at least on like they used to do it at our project ever i what i did is like i had gone through some internet some some of your videos and some of some other content creators and i watched them and i had a very decent knowledge on how to how we can make this applicable in our code i mean in the production level ready code so mm-hmm. i guess that, that is a actual requirement that any recruiter or any interviewer look, looking for us because they want they don't, they don't want us to do something like Blah blah blah, and that won't because that won't we can't implement them in our uh, production level code, right? And they just want to check what is the particular requirement and what this guy is is able to whether this guy is able to implement this in their production level code or not. And what I came to know from this uh, system design skills is see nothing is right and nothing is wrong. It's like right. what is our requirement? What is our requirement? And are we going according to our requirement or not? That's the only thing. It's not like you had used uh, cash here, you didn't, you shouldn't be using you you use something. It's not like that. it's like what is our requirement and are you fitting into that requirement uh-huh. that is the, this is what this is the point which i came to know from my, my solution architect and i was i had prepared myself in that particular point basis only whenever if they are asking me something i just need to tell them like how can i fit this particular thing in our product production ready code by using uh, this high, uh, uh, some n number of elements on all so now my last question to you in whatever the interviews you have given i think you have followed the same linkedin strategy to bring these companies right and i think in the start effect you told that they somehow recruiters contacted you and you able to give that so i'm yeah. thinking you didn't change the strategy of even applying or somehow you uh, recruiters reached out to you for this jobs right so if there is the same understanding i can proceed if there is something else you want to add up so i'll stop here actually no this is only with the first company which i interview like uh, which i had given my interview so from there after the things are really different that was happened in june and i came to know that this hiring got freeze somewhere in uh, maybe march or june something like that uh, so then i realized that see we had already started the process and there is no way going back so here my uh, now i had, like i just want to 
I know that the market is not going well and uh, like the layoffs are going on. Now, how we need to like obviously see if someone some someone uh, who is working in Microsoft, Aram Jan got laid off and applied for the same job which I had applied. There is no point of uh, like for recruiter in considering me. So I need to get some other way out of it. So what I did is like the particular strategy which I followed here is like see I used to open LinkedIn and search like what is the company which is currently recruiting. Whenever say whenever I say recruiting. So you can see some statistics. So if you, the if a particular company has posted a number of jobs, which means that they are actively recruiting, right? So whenever they are actively recruiting, I will just take a note of all the companies which are actively recruiting. I will put them aside, and I will try to reach out the talent TA TA members from that particular company. Uh, in some of the LinkedIn posts, we may find their details. In some LinkedIn posts, we may not find them. So when, what happens when we are not finding those details? Like I will just search the some TAs from that company. Uh, I will just sort out four or five TAs and I just send a connection request to them, and post that connection connection request. I used to reach out to them through message. You know, maybe out of five, at least I what what my perception is like at least one or two will accept that request. In that, at least one person is ready to take a survey. You know, like and along with that, I I was very active on Insta Hire also. Okay. So there also I used to get some equipment and. Uh, on the same lines, where I mentioned, whenever a company is actively recruiting, I just reach out to some of my friends or ex-colleagues who are in that yeah. particular company and ask them for referrals and all. The thing is, like, I don't know what about the market, but see, there are two types of companies here. One is the US product-based companies, and second one is our Indian regional-level companies. So, uh, you coming to US product-based company at that time, they are laying off employees, and most of not every company, but yeah, most of the companies are laying off employees, and most of the companies went for hiring freeze and all. So what I did is I mostly concentrate on this particular Indian Indian product-based companies. In that also, uh, what I and un- what I, un- I understand from the LinkedIn search and the thing is like fintech, uh, fintech wala industries, fintech wala product-based companies yeah. are actively hiring. Active, and yeah. along with that, yeah, uh, some banks, uh, maybe US banks and Indian banks also, they are actively hiring. And some like we have e-commerce companies also, but they are like very limitedly hiring essentially. Mm-hmm. So then I realized that see, there are fintech industry is currently in boom and I, I, I thought I had applied all for the fintech in like, this is based on my understanding and my knowledge. See, uh, another another thing which I like missed is like I even checked lead code also in the compensation section in the offer section. Na, I used to see like uh, which company had raised offers and all, and I used uh-huh. to take a note of them also. Means like this particular company is actively hiring. Okay. They are obviously yeah. releasing the offers. So they are obviously releasing the offers, and I just take a note of them also, and I include them in my list also. Nice, and that's so, a nice strategy. What I want to tell you is like, see, uh, see, actually, when it, it it's come to my case only. So mm-hmm. earlier, as I mentioned, I don't even know what is this single TSA. But today, I was in a situation that I was able to crack some decent level, good level companies, and in this recent time also, I got multiple offers. So what I want to tell you is like, if I can do it, anyone can do it. Yeah, so yeah. I just want like people to not to lose hope and all. Because obviously this type of situation where layoffs and all, obviously they, they will come and go. Uh, but thing is like market will get uh, con- like they, the market will be cool off in some other other time. So be yourself prepared with all your things and all. So when time comes now, we can go and hit it hard. Well, that's pretty much from my side. Like so, thanks a lot, man, for sharing the information with all of us.